Now that you have completed the integration phase, it's time to move on to phase 3. In this phase, you can assess how well the key issues in your policy document have been covered by reviewing the information entered into the EPIC tool via three key steps. In the first step, you are required to identify highly relevant or relevant core concepts that have not been mapped to any IACC combinations. To ensure important core concepts are sufficiently covered, you are invited to consider if there are new issues associated with that core concept that may need to be addressed in the policy document. These should then be entered as new issues for action in the EPIC tool. In the next step, you are required to review the relevant indicators which have not been mapped to an IACC combination. These indicators may have been overlooked, therefore you need to consider if new key issues associated with that indicator should be addressed in the policy document. These should then be entered as new issues for action in the EPIC tool. In the final step, you are required to assess the coverage of the policy document by reviewing the outcomes that have not been mapped to any consolidated IA. Under this step of Phase 3, you can propose a new IA. That is, to make sure every outcome addresses key policy issues, you are asked to add a new IA to outcomes that are not mapped to any consolidated IA. This third step also provides an opportunity to ensure each consolidated IA has an outcome associated with it. This is done by proposing a suitable outcome for those existing consolidated IAs missing an outcome. Now that you have completed Phase 3, you can move the policy to the final phase and watch the Phase 4 video for instructions.